What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you how I qualify this week for the Foot Champions. Now, hopefully it is the last week I'm going to have to do that, because now they've changed the rules, and Gold 3, or anything higher, will automatically qualify you for the next weekend league, which means I would have only not qualified once, because I think I got Silver 3 once, and I was one win away from getting Gold 3, and all the other weeks I've managed to get Gold 3 or Gold 2. But anyway, uh, on to the team. So, this you had to have a three and a half star team or less so 74 rated which is a silver team of course i'm not going to go with that so i've went for a gold team and uh, these four 45 rated players are the lowest rated players in the game and they're also getting price fixed because everyone wants to bronze bench so you can see combined they've cost me around 15k but for me it was worth it purely because i've managed to get really overpowered premier league players and um yeah, I'll show you in a screenshot. I got disconnected in the final um, when I was doing this. I, I played this three times. The first time I got to the quarters, came up against a really, really good opponent, lost in extra time 3-2. That's a bit of a problem if you do go to extra time when you've got no subs, everyone's got no... Uh, you know no fitness whatsoever so yeah I did lose that but the second time I got straight to the final disconnected and then the third time I won it straight after that which is what you're going to be seeing now but anyhow yeah uh, the but the team I think it's around 50k we've got Butland we've got uh, Masaku Masaku uh, yeah, I, you know I can't pronounce names anyway by uh, my, my favorite center back on the game 268 games played and counting then we've got Kurt Zuma Hector Bellerin, a fantastic right back, definitely. Uh, I've used his screamer card as well, but uh, actually, can I put his screamer card in there? Does that affect the rating? Because I've still got it. Yeah, it does. So I, I have to literally use his uh, other card, which is going to add time onto this video, for fuck's sake, right? Anyway, there we go. Uh, then we've got Sadio Mane, very, very good. I know he hasn't even scored for me, but the amount of like interlinking plays he's done and fake runs to drag defenders out has been terrific but I'll tell you more in the highlights as always then we've got Pereira and Herrera that's a, a tongue twister for you and then we've got Memphis on uh, the wing a very good winger shame he isn't so good in real life at the minute Rashford and Musa who I use as substitutes in foot champions that's why you know their records aren't as good as what they should be because I've subbed them on about 40 50 times but uh, honestly these two is a partnership I'll go through in the highlights now but Jesus, they are so overpowered. Right, so literally I'm starting it from the first round, so you can obviously see it was a full tournament run through, but uh, yeah, it was my third attempt, and as I say, I got to the quarterfinals, got knocked out, got to the final, disconnected, and then this one we do actually win. So the first opponent that we come up against, very weird team. I don't know why you go into the daily tournament with bronzes with no chemistry, silvers with no chemistry, and then a bunch of forward gold players that do have chemistry. But anyway, we take an early lead, making it 1-0. Then Rashford bursting through, in off the post, a really nice finish there to make it 2-0. And uh, this was a very, very big, defe uh, big defeat, no big win. Musa with a thunderbolt there, 3-0. Uh, Rashford plays it into Herrera, who finesses it in to make it 4-0. And uh, yeah, did this... There was just so many goals. It was so easy. He, he wasn't a very good player. He had really bad defenders. And uh, yeah, even after hitting the post there, I still managed to make it 5-0. Then he started pissing around at the back. So I tackled him to make it 6-0. And uh, we get a penalty laid on with Rashford to make it 7-0. And that is how the game ends. So really good first round performance from the team. 18 shots, 14 on target, which means... 50% of the ones on target went in, which is terrific. Then we come up against a full Marseille team. Uh, some decent players there, but again, uh, you know, obviously I've got an advantage because I've got a full goal team, and uh, it, it really does show, like, especially when you've got overpowered players, but Herrera there, great work. A little bit of luck, not going to lie, but that's why I used the power finish. And then Musa, another little bit of luck there. It gets parried straight to uh, I think it's Rashford who manages to find Pereira. So Herrera and Pereira have both scored in the first, um, well, in this game, sorry. And then I play the ball. And I don't know what happens there. Like I score and it instantly, like it doesn't let me celebrate. It literally instantly shows the goal again. And uh, he, he rage quit after that, after I made it 3-0. I think Herrera got two and Pereira got the other one. And uh, yeah, that was another very easy game. Heading into the semi-final, like what is that? Like a 67 chemistry team you've got players like Buffon, Pjanic 
and Hamsik, and then a load of random gold, uh, sorry, bronze and silvers. Like it, it just made it really easy. And Musa breaking through there, uh, nice driven shot. I think that's what they're called anyway to make it one nil. Then some good play here uh, between Masaku, Rashford, and Herrera, I think. But then Musa plays it in to Pereira. And we make it 2-0 just before half-time. And uh, literally 60th minute, that's a fantastic ball in from Masaku into Rashford. And uh, yeah, 3-0. And again, rage quit after 3-0. So we've scored 13 goals and haven't even conceded until the final, which... Um, yeah, well, I'll show you in a sec. But uh, Rashford and Musa with a 9.3 rating, both of them there. Now, this team is terrific. He's got one bronze left back, 51 rated, but then he's got Vardy, he's got Fernandinho, he's got Cabaselli, he's got a lot of overpowered Premier League teams. Similarly, doing what I've done, bronze benched, I presume. And uh, yeah, we break through, lovely through ball there, giving Rashford so many, uh, so much space, making it 1-0. And then he unfortunately gets the equaliser in the 77th minute. Uh, and that was the only goal I conceded this entire tournament. So I was very, very happy with that because I'm usually really bad in defence. Play the ball straight to Musa. Musa takes a shot, uh, deflects, but Rashford's there. Like, these two are just so overpowered, it's ridiculous. The 90th minute, we actually managed to win. I was so happy I got disconnected in the final, the previous run through. Literally, the very next run through, bang, I win. I was honestly so, so happy and... Uh, yeah, that's me qualified and hopefully that's the last time I'm going to have to do a daily knockout tournament because of goal three and higher managing to qualify for the next weekend league as well. So anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.